Hello everyone. This is Wednesday, September the 11th, 2024. It's 9.30 a.m. And yeah, we have a current temperature of uh, 15 degrees here in Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. I'm beginning this walk at the Water Street bus terminal right here. And we're going to take a walk up first and see what's happened in that Cogswell. It's been a few days since I've been up there, probably a week since I've been there. So we're going to walk up there today, have a look at that, and um, then we'll um, then we'll take a walk around other places after that. Okay? All right. It feels really good to be back out here because oh, for the last uh, couple of days I was catching up. I had a bunch of uh, videos uh, stored. And I didn't want to get too far ahead because then they'd be outdated so I had to take a break from it and use up some of the videos I had already made. I think I got one left now on my phone yeah, and that's it. So it's time to go back to work today and um, make some videos again. It's, it's a lot of a lot of time has passed since we last looked at Cogswell. So I want to take you back over there and have a good look at what has happened since since I last visited the Cogswell construction site. Okay? All right. I'm at w Upper Water and Duke. And Duke Street right there. I know you've seen this part of town a few times, but I wanted to go to the Codswell Project and have a look at all that again. Because there's a lot of people like to stay updated on that. They want to know how it's coming along, what it looks like. And some people like the changes. Some people don't. Some people hate it. So, that's that's where we are with Cogswell. Some people are in favor of it, and some people not so much, because they liked it better the old way. Me, um, I'm, I'm kind of up for change. I like to see change. A nice, modern-looking city. I mean, we'll always have this type of stuff. That well, they won't ever tear that down. I'm, I'm sure of that. Unless there's an earthquake and it falls down, then they might uh, clean it up. But, They'll, they'll never tear that down. And, and same as that building right there. They'll never, they'll never tear that down. So, there's certain things here. Well, they, they designate them designated uh, heritage property. And you can't, you can't get, even get a permit to tear that down. Because that's what they do here. It's in every city. Toronto has that too. And Montreal has it as well. They have, I saw the signs on buildings up there. And most cities have that. They're protected, the old buildings. But there's a lot of older buildings that aren't designated historic sites that need to come down. And It still looks like a mess out there, but it, it is, uh, they had a lot of earth to move. They're still hauling out of there at different spots because the plans that are made. Well, what a great day. Sun shining. Look, not a cloud in the sky up there. Perfect blue sky. It was kind of cool this morning, but doing better now. I mean, it's still still morning, but I'm talking early this morning. It was it was kind of cool.
World Class Limousine Halifax. Noisy here, isn't it? Probably well, we can't really hear much other than noise. <laughs> Background noise, that's all you can hear. All right, we're making our way up to see what's going on here. Remember when the wall was here and all that? The wall was long gone and a lot of earth has been moved. And there's plans. It's going to be really nice. I know they're rerouting some roads up here. You can't see much right here. But we get up here. We'll, we'll maybe we'll go up around some of the areas where it looked like they're rebuilding some roads. You can see there's a lot of uh, activity going on here with the machinery. Excavators. I see four right here, there's probably more. Man, that's noisy. I'm not even trying to talk too much because it's so noisy. Continue on. Looks like maybe that earth there is going to be moved, but it's hard to say. I can't really tell where it's all going, but I know you'll see some new uh, road work up here. <coughs> Excuse me. I know when I was going by on the bus, I could see where they were rerouting the road. Well, I'll show you that and whatever else I can see up here. Whoa, there's a big vessel right there. Wow, I don't know what that is. Military. If I can, I can walk down in here. Just can't go inside the fence area. If I can go down in here, when you look at that ship, that's a big one. What do you think of that for a, for a battleship? I can almost fit it into my screen, not quite. That is a big battleship. I'm not even sure what it is. It's, it, it is a, it is a, military ship but I don't think it's a battleship can see it's got a lot of cranes on it so I'm not sure what it would be doing got a lot of cranes I, I think those are I think it refuels and resupplies ships that are that never came in they're out on the <coughs> they're out at sea <coughs> And they send for this um, ship 
to replenish the, the ship. So I'm pretty sure that's what it is because it looks like uh, those cranes right there look like they're going to take out fuel lines. And those probably lifting the things out that are going to get put on other ships. Yeah, that's what it looks like. It's not a battleship, but it's a, it's a big ship, but it's a, I think it's a supply ship. I could be wrong. I'm not a military person, but looking at what I see, it looks like a supply ship. Anyway, we don't usually have Navy ships in here that are quite that big. Or I don't see that many that, that are large. <clears throat> the frigates are much smaller than that. Well, we'll go up in this area here that I'll show you the, where the road's going to be rerouted. Now you can see where that barricaded off right there. What it looks to me is the road's gonna come right up through here. And up there where that turn is, it's gonna come out onto Barrington. What it looks like, almost sure that's what's gonna happen. Although I haven't heard it officially from any sources yet, but I would say that that's probably a good guess. And who knows what they got planned for this area. I know there's some tall apartment buildings going up somewhere down here. <coughs> Excuse me. And it could very well be this area. <coughs> now we'll walk on around to where the road comes out. <coughs> See, they're putting a sidewalk in. The street up through there. I'm pretty sure that that's going to be the new road. This one might be here too, or it might not be. There might be that, that could be replacing, that road in through there might be replacing this, because that road uh, coming there might go right down there, and they'll cut out this all together. It's possible. I don't know. I'm just looking at it, trying to make uh, some sense of it. So I'm not necessarily right. I'm only guessing. So don't hold me to that. If they do something different than what I thought, then I was wrong. I'm just guessing. We'll walk up to where that road's gonna come up through. Okay, then you be the judge when you see this. It is really, really changing rapidly here. 
you got to almost go out every three or four days just to keep up with what's new here. We're almost up to the spot I was talking about where they're uh, building some roads here. I don't know exactly yet what to make of it all, but we'll all take a look and see if we can figure out anything that they're doing. I'm just rolling something around in my head. Just rolling something around in my head that this could be. I might be wrong, so I'm not, I'm just, here I am just guessing again, okay? I haven't found out anything. But I'm looking at this like It could be a bus terminal area for the buses to turn around in so they won't be clogging up down in the city so much. It's possible. I'm not saying it is. I'm making a guess. It could be just a road, but it could be a bus terminal. Not sure. Well, we'll find out before too long what that is exactly. Do you see how wide they're making the sidewalks on that turn? It's like maybe the bosses will come in and come around here. And you'll stand right there and wait for your boss. Who knows? I'm just guessing. So, again, it's just, a, it's just an educated guess by what I'm looking at. Because I did hear something about a bus terminal being built out here. Somewhere in this, not exactly maybe here, but I did hear that there was something in the works like that for the buses. I get a feeling when they get Scotia Square all done, the road all done there in front of there, and it reopens, that they're not going to want all those buses stopping in front of there like we had. It's not going to be, uh, it's not going to be what we had before. It's going to be something different. I just know that. I just know it's not going to be all those buses around down there. All right, see that's gonna come up, that's gonna go right around in a circle. And this is, one road is probably gonna be out. And it looks like a sidewalk or something for the nature trail over here. Cause they gotta, they gotta fix that because the nature trail right now is broken. They got this spot, this spot right here where there's no trail. This is a temporary thing. 
the trail's supposed to be over there. I know when it's all done, we, it, will, we'll, it will be very clear what, what changed and, and all that, so you got to be patient, I guess. I remember coming up this trail, used to be right down through here, and walking on this before there was any construction here. Great way to get downtown from up here on, on, the, on the paved trail here with the bicycle. Wow, I'm 20, 22 minutes already into this video. I haven't done much of anything. <laughs> that always how it goes. Time flying by and I haven't done much of anything. I see a plane in it for the airport, the airport from here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. Let me see. Now, I don't think you are Oh, there it is right there. No, that's a bird. Where did that, I can't get the plane. I gotta refocus my picture here now too. I tried to get that plane on my, I'm going to focus there, but I couldn't, it was it's too high. See how quickly we got out of the city. We're still in the city, but it looks like you're out in the country right there. But we are in the city. See, we're just, uh, it's just the way it looked. It can be, it can fool you, right? We're not, looks like we're out in the country right there. An old country road with trees, but not the case. I am walking on the trail, runs parallel to, to uh, Barrington, Barrington I guess, Brunswick Street's up there, so this is Barrington right here. History of the community. Yeah, yeah, 
when the Halifax explosion happened, it leveled a lot of buildings that were here. <coughs> The history of uh, what happened after the Halifax explosion. There's the uh, McDonald Bridge up there in the distance. I'm not sure what we'll do when we get up to there. I don't know. I was in the North End yesterday, so I don't know if I want to go back there today. I wasn't, I wasn't videoing, but I just was up there. But we'll see. We'll see where we want to go. I'm not sure yet. It's a surprise. <laughs> it's a surprise. I don't know where I'm going with hell. I'll be surprised as you will be. Look at all the bees in these bushes. Everywhere. There's hornets, look at them. By the dozens. Those bushes are, are full of bees. Bumblebees and hornets. Some of them are baby bumblebees. There must have been a hundred bees on those bushes right there. I wouldn't advise anyone to try to walk through those bushes. <laughs> it could end in a lot of stings. Oh, they boarded this off. Caution. Zero degrees. So I guess that means you're not supposed to walk down there since the sign doesn't say that, but...
don't know if I ever walked on this part of the trail before. Not sure. We got the military right here beside us, so I have to be careful where I go. Don't want to go to a restricted area. No, there's no sign up right here. Well, if, there was, if I weren't supposed to go here, there'd be a sign. Let's try. See where it goes. I can't go anywhere that it's fenced in. I think I'm okay to hear, but I can't go through there onto the onto their property. So this is about as far as I dare to come. Because the rest of it I will be onto the military's property if I went down there. Let's see. Let's see if I can get. I like to go up through that tunnel. There's a hand there to go through there. I like to. I don't know if I can. <laughs> I might get into trouble if I tried. Somebody's bound to, to call me on that one, so I guess I won't do that. There's a camera right there on that pole. <laughs> What can you do this way? <coughs> Excuse me, there. I think I'm good now. I got a green light, but I don't have a hand, so we'll just wait. Last time I came up here, I walked up on that side, and you can't walk on the, there's no going up on that side on the sidewalk. And I didn't realize that. Yeah, we can go now. 
I can go now. Well, what do you think? We should cross right here, maybe? I think so. We'll cross right here. at the Angus McDonald Bridge. We're not taking the bridge today, we're gonna to walk up here. Twenty six, twenty two, guaranteed three. Right there. Well, they paved part of it. Two lanes are paved. Now, this is all military on this side to get up to the corner, which would be uh, Gottingen, all the way up to Gottingen, it's uh, military. Oh, sorry.
Yeah, not why I'm at Goddard's I got a rock in my shoe, I need to stop. Okay, so I'm gonna sign this off right here. At the top, coming up the hill from the bridge, at Goddard's yeah, I'm going to end this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget that like and subscribe button. And uh, if you're not yet a subscriber, I'd love it if you become a subscriber. Just push that little button there, subscribe, and you'll be all set. And there's a notification bell there if you want to do that. You'll get a little ring on your phone whenever I post a video. With that, I hope you're having a really great day. Take care, be safe. I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.